Greetings. Okay, when you're holding up uh, brickwork in uh, the steel above uh, an RSJ and everything's bolted in and obviously welded together and everything, uh, what you tend to find is that you need to get to the inside course. We've got the outside course, which we can get to, but the inside course. So when we've done this, we made sure we went up two, three courses so we had enough space to get in so that when we needed to break that inside course up, we got uh, some cement, wedge the cement in, obviously, then push it all far back as much as you can so you get into the back end of the brick. Then obviously get your pointing trowel again and uh, point it, do it one more time after a few more minutes and then finish off. Now, once you've done that, you uh, wanna get some slate, okay? And uh, not worried to out what it's gonna be yet, but what you wanna do is you wanna be getting some slate. Once you fill that in, and then give that a good whack in and make it nice and tight. So once you've got uh, everything propped up originally, and you start to do sections like this one, where we can cement this, give it a couple of days. Once it's dried, then we can take this one out. And obviously then we can do this inside course. Again, slate under everything all the way as you go. And making sure the key to it is packing all the cement mortar into uh, that gap there. Uh, this is where you get a few cowboys who don't really give a, a doodles about it and what they do is just fill it. You got an inch and obviously the whole house is resting then on just a bit of a poor cement rather than a decent mix resting on the steelwork. Uh, so yes, supporting uh, sporting walls. Now obviously you can see they want vertical posts. If you're taking the whole back of the house out or nearly say a third of the house out then what you want to do is uh, get some vertical posts, same there, same over there, on pad stones on the ground connected to the foundation, things like that. So yeah, steel work, good pair of lifts, obviously getting this up. You can hire them for you know, 60 pound a day to do the, um, the lifting of the steel. So you're getting about 10 men and obviously injuring someone. So just be careful on that. It's always worth hiring a, a steel lift, a genie, I think they're called. So again, just keep packing as much as you can. Obviously you can't put a brick under this section here. You know, you've got to wait until that goes off to take that out to get that brick in there and slate it up. So uh, how to pack uh, above a lintel? Yeah, above an RSJ. Be seeing you, be well.